Alright guys, welcome to the sixth programming tutorial. Today we're going to be covering loops and uh, we're going to talk about you know what loops are and how we use them in our programs and the different types of loops um, that we would need to think about when we are writing our programs. So to begin with, first of all let's define what a loop is. A loop essentially is, or essentially allows us, to execute a set of statements repeatedly for a number of times. So again, to execute a set of statements repeatedly for a number of a uh, number of times. So, okay. So the first thing that comes to mind is how many times do we want to execute this set of statements? So, say for example, let's we'll put this all into context. Say I wanted to in I had a line in my program, a line of code that said print hello. Hello. Yeah. So I have that line uh, line of code in my program, and say I wanted to um, do this ten times. I wanted to print hello to the console. Console is command prompt in Windows and Terminal Mac. Um, so I wanted to print this ten times. Simply instead of writing, instead of like doing the whole um, inefficient way of writing this out ten times, I could instead of doing all of that or even think let's not think about doing that instead we use a loop and the loop work would work as follows the loop would say okay we know how many times we want to do this so I say do this ten times and then what do we want to do ten times print hello Okay, so we know how many times we want to print this out. We want to do this 10 times. Do what 10 times? We want to print hello 10 times. So that's much better than writing out print hello, you know, writing out this line of code 10 times, which is very inefficient. And um, obviously, do this 10 times isn't a um, is it language syntax in pr many programming languages. It just But this is just to sort of give you an idea of what it would be like in a program when you know how many times you want to execute a set of statements. So this, in a sense, is a finite loop because we know that we want to do this 10 times. Okay, what happens if we come across a loop where we don't know how many times we want to execute? So as an example, um, say we're writing a game so we have my game here okay now this is my game now now I don't want to um, I don't want to I don't want this game to quit by itself I want to keep running this game as long as the user hasn't pressed this red button over here this red button over here is quit right so I don't want this game to quit as long as the user doesn't press the quit quit button, right? Uh, so this this isn't really a loop where we say, okay, I want to do this ten times. This is more of an infinite loop. So the con it would work as follows. So I would say as long as while the user has not um, the exclamation mark is used to signify not, while the user hasn't quit. I want to keep the game running. Okay, so this is a condition. Okay, and um, this is dissimilar to the last loop construct we had when we said, okay, I want to print this out ten times. It doesn't work like that. This this is reliant on a condition now. So we're saying as long as you know the user hasn't quit, I want to keep the game running. Okay, so this is in a sense infinite an infinite loop because you can this can potentially go on forever. Okay. Okay, so those are two loops. Um, the last loop I want to cover is what's known as a loop which performs uh, prints out a statement once and then checks the condition. So, so 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 to write this out. So, you know, the last one we had, while the game hasn't been quit, keep the game running. This one's different in that we would say, do, do, print high, while 6 is less than 10. Okay, so the way this works is that 
this um this this is our body this is our code body right okay this is where we're saying do so i want to do i want to print h at least once okay so the program is going to go through our code line by line and it's going to see this is going to say okay i'm going to print out hi and then it'll reach this stage here and then it's going to realize that this is a condition and then it'll check this condition while 6 is less than 10 if this condition is true then it'll go back and it'll execute this statement and it'll keep doing that as long as this condition is true if this condition is false then we know that this statement over here has been executed at least once because the program checks that first and then goes on to the condition rather than checking the condition first okay so um, yeah that's about it so those are the different loops available to us so the first one we had was a finite loop um, the second one we had was an um, infinite loop so we had a uh, finite we had a potentially infinite loop and then lastly we had a um, how would you I would define it as being a do while because in most conventional programming languages that's how they define it so I would say a do, do while loop um, specific course, uh, specific programming language syntax will be, um, we'll go over that, you know, when we go over um, C programming tutorials and Java programming tutorials. But for now, as long as you understand what loop is, the different loops available, um, and how we would use those loops in certain situations, um, as long as you've uh, grasped that from this tutorial today, then I think you're ready to move on to the next tutorial, which will be to, uh, which will be explaining functions and the uses of functions in our programs. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Please do visit the website pcb0x.net. If you have any comments, feedback or anything, please don't hesitate to comment on the channel or post a comment on the website. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.